Hey, we're students from Fleming College Frost Campus in the Ecosystem Management Program of Fall 2016. And we are here doing our benthic kick and sweet video. I am Lily. I'm Brandon. And I'm Frank. And, and this is our kick and sweep demonstration. So, initially we set up our net. We came up from downstream of our set location, which is a meter by meter square in front of this net. <coughs> we measured it up previously. And we've set up rocks on top of the net to re prevent any bugs from escaping our trap because we want to get a whole, well, I guess the whole amount of bugs that's in that area as best we can to represent it. Start the kick and sweep by Lily shuffling her feet in the substrate above the net. For one minute? Yeah, one minute. Yeah. In front of it. So I guess that was the kicking portion. Um, now the sweeping part. Really? <laughs> <laughs> so you take the rocks, flip them over, and scrape off any excess bugs that might be clinging to the stone. So, yeah. Lily's going to demonstrate the sweeping method where she takes the rocks and scrapes off with her fingers gently. In the water. Any in the water, yeah. Any invertebrates that might be clinging to the rock to release them from the rock so we can collect it so you may begin lily there's nothing again i mean <laughs> well just yeah just do a bunch of the rocks just, mm. just like wipe them off with your hands the bottoms or the bottoms bottoms nothing there just run your hands along them There's something in there. <laughs> yeah. Good I hope so. Oh, that's so cool. The riffles often hold many different types of invertebrates because it provides oxygen that's being introduced into the river as it flows over top of the the rocks and the boulders <clears throat> and it also provides good shelter for the invertebrates along with a good food source because the <clears throat> nutrients and whatnot will drop in between the rocks where the invertebrates can collect them or they can set up their traps I guess for the collecting invertebrates. Okay so that's good right? I also just seen the sculpted. Which is a good sign too. Um, okay. So, I guess if we take the rocks off the bottom, we'll just this up. And then lift it up. <clears throat> and then they're gonna hold it close. And we're gonna rinse off the sides of the net to let all this debris bring this debris to the bottom of the the net to kind of consolidate everything into one general area nice crayfish nice okay so oh. pardon oh my gosh the water you don't, you don't have to do that <laughs> We've taken all the findings from the net and we've dumped it into this bucket right here. And as you can see, we've already got crayfish, sow bugs, and a few mayflies scurrying around. So <clears throat> we're gonna do a count of all those invertebrates in there. You guys want some more ice soda? No. <laughs> Literally on every rock. Thank you. 
Thank you.